This is question number 8, 2012 KCSE Mathematics Paper 1. Uh, using a pair of compasses and a ruler only, construct a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is equal to 4 cm, BC is equal to 6 cm, AD is equal to 3 cm, uh, angle ABC is 135, and angle DAB is equal to 60. Measure the size of angle BCD. Uh, the first thing you need here is uh, follow the instructions. You are supposed to use a compass and a ruler only. So what is being tested here is whether you know how to construct angles and make measurements. Uh, we can, you can make a sketch of what you are going to construct to guide you on how to go about it. So from the information given, we are told AB is 4 cm. So we can draw our line AB here and say that is 4 cm. BC is 6 cm. BC, so we, we draw a line here and we have been given ABC is 135. So this is uh, 6 cm and this angle here is 135 degrees. So this is where we have our C. Uh, from there we are told AD is uh, 3 cm, so we have a line here. And D, uh, DAB is uh, 60, so we measure an angle of 60 there. Uh, let's draw that, we have uh, six, uh, 60 degrees here. Uh, so this is 3 cm, uh, this is 3 cm, and this angle here is 60. Uh, then uh, what you are supposed, you can join uh, this one so that uh, this is where we have our D. You can join this line here and come up with the position. Let's do it uh, better than that. You join there. So you have this is, you are supposed to find the angle B, C, D. You measure this angle. That is what you are supposed to. Uh, so I need my ruler here. Uh, so I, 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 I take a ruler here. Uh, now we have the uh, uh, rough idea of, uh, of uh, how our figure should look like and uh, we can measure here, let's start from here and draw a line. This line is 4 cm so you can mark there 4 cm, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and that is where we have four another 4 cm. So with that uh, now we have of we have obtained our a b so this is uh, a and this is our b uh, we can start by constructing angle 60 so i'll bring in my compass because we are supposed to uh to to use a, a ruler and a compass and uh, uh this so you take your compass you press it there to measure to get the angle of uh, 60 uh, what we need to use is uh, you make a mark there and uh, you also make um, another mark there uh, we use the principle of equilateral triangle so we shift our compass to this other part and uh, we make another arc there so once you make that arc uh, then uh, it means that if you use your ruler here you should be able to come up with angle 60 here uh, it passes through that point so that's how you construct an angle of 60 uh, so we draw a line there and uh, we are supposed to to have actually it comes three centimeter there so where we have the cross you can see it is where we have three centimeter uh, and therefore we cannot remove the ruler so this is where we have our that is that is our D. This is where we have our our D. Uh, from there, we need to construct angle. So this is uh, actually three centimeter, like we have on our uh, sketch here. We need to measure an angle of uh, uh, 135 degrees. 135. Uh, we can uh, we can do it like this. We can say 90 uh, 90 degrees uh, degrees plus 45 degrees. Uh, that should add up to 135. So you can construct an angle of 90, then an angle of uh, 
or under 35. Alternatively, uh, we we can uh, we can draw an angle of 90 and just bisect. So we take our compass here and bring it here. Okay, that uh, we bring it here. Uh, that is where we want to measure an angle of 90. So we can uh, make a mark here so that uh, we construct an angle of 90 and uh, another mark uh, another mark on the other side uh, like that uh, so these two marks we need to we need to extend our our line here uh, that's okay we can extend it like that uh, so uh, we, we, we we extend this line up to there uh, for, so that we use that point here uh, from there take your protract uh, compass here and use the two points use the two points to to make two arcs that will help you to measure an angle of 90 or make construct an angle of 90 we use that one we shift our compass to here uh, we, we we make another mark here uh, so that where the two crosses uh, where the two arcs cross, uh, that is where we have, uh, that is where we have, uh, that is where, where we have our, our 90. Uh, to make it easier, we can still use that point. We, we, now this angle here is 90. Uh, we use this point here. Uh, we use this point here and bisect, uh, bisect this angle. Now this angle here is 90. So if we make a mark there, and we should we shift our compass here and uh, we make another mark here uh, let's, let's, like that it means we have bisected this angle so you now take a ruler here and uh, draw draw the, the the angle of 135 uh, which will be there so we have added this 90 and 45 which we have bisected so that is how we have constructed uh, sorry for that we have uh, managed to construct an angle of 135 now still on the same point we are told that uh, this length here is six centimeter so we can uh, we can uh, we can now be able to measure six centimeter so we have one two three four five six so that's where we have our mark so that is the position of C. So we have identified the position of C. Uh, now we're still using the same ruler. We can now join D and C to come up with the line CD. We come up with the line CD here. Uh, so that's how you, you do that. Uh, so that is how you get the, that figure. So you can see it looks similar to our our sketch. So this angle here is one. Uh, let's, let's just use another a different color there. This is 135 degrees. This angle here is 60. Uh, this side here is six centimeter. Uh, this is four centimeter as we have measured. So that's how you construct. Uh, doing it manually, you should be able to move faster. As long as you know how to construct the angle of 60. I uh, angle of than that five and you'll be you are able to measure so you are supposed to measure angle uh, BCD so uh, BCD you use your protractor to measure this angle so use your protractor to measure this angle you'll be able to find the angle is at one degrees plus or minus uh, one degree so that's how you do that uh, using your protractor you should be able to do that so that's how you go about it, uh, working out this question.